Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. In this video we are going to discuss the revised syllabus 2022 of class 8 geography. And yes we are going to discuss question and answers of the chapter atmosphere. So this video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So do not miss any part of it and stay tuned till the end of the video. So let's get started and move ahead but before that my dear viewers if you are watching my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. One more reminder for you all my dear students that all the other notes of history, Paul science and the geography's previous lesson notes are also available in the channel. The link of the playlist will be found in the description box. You can check the description box for the link and the link will also be given in the i button above. You will find all the revised syllabus notes of class 8 social book here. So now let's get started with the notes. We have first main, fill in the blanks with suitable words. First one, the two major gases of the atmosphere are dash and dash, nitrogen and oxygen. Next, the lowest layer of the atmosphere is dash, troposphere. Next. The average air pressure of the atmosphere at the sea level is dash. It's 1013.25 MB. Next, westernized is also known as dash, anti-trade winds. Next, the scientific study of weather is dash, meteorology. So this is first main which we have finished here. Now let's move to the second main that is answer each of the following questions. And the question number here is continued as per your textbook. So it's question number six. What is atmosphere? Answer. Atmosphere is a thin layer of gases, dust particles and water vapor surrounding the earth. Next. Name the important layers of the atmosphere. Answer, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. So these are the important layers of the atmosphere. Next, what is the significance of ozone layer? Answer, in the second layer of the atmosphere, the thin ozone layer absorbs the ultraviolet rays of the sun and protects all forms of life on the earth. Next, what is doldrum? Where is it found? Answer, literally doldrum means a belt of calm. This belt lies between 0 degree to 5 degree north and south of the equator. Next, question number 10. Name the different types of planetary winds. Answer, there are three types of planetary winds, trade winds, anti-trade winds, and polar winds. Next, what are local winds? Give any two examples. Answer, the impact of local winds is limited to a particular area. These are the result of variation in local temperature, pressure, humidity, which in turn are attributed to the formation of air currents. Example, Chinook or Snow Eater of the USA, Sirocco of the Sahara region, Brickfielder of Australia, etc. So these are the examples of local winds. Next, mention the different types of clouds. Answer, the important types of clouds are the stratus, the cumulus, the cirrus, and the nimbus clouds. Next, distinguish between weather and climate. Answer, the atmospheric condition of a smaller area at a particular time is called weather. Climate is the average condition of the atmosphere over a long period of time in a larger area. Next, we have next main now define the following. Again, the question number is continued. It's 14. And the first defined here is ionosphere. 
ionosphere is a part of the thermosphere. There is a high temperature in the sphere. It is called ionosphere as the gaseous atoms are ionized due to very high temperatures. The ions found here help in reflecting radio waves. Next, normal lapse rate. It is the decreasing rate of temperature with the increase of altitude. The rate of decrease is 1 degree for every 165 meters or 6.4 degrees Celsius for every 1000 meters of height. Next, torrid zone. Torrid zone is the zone of high temperature. The region is found between 0 degree or equator and Tropic of Cancer in the north and the equator and Tropic of Capricorn in the south. This region receives direct rays of the sun. Next, horse latitudes. Subtropical high pressure belts are found between 30 degree and 35 degree north and south of the equator. These regions are high pressure beds. Hence, they are called horse latitudes. Next, we have orographic rain. The other name of orographic rainfall is mountain rainfall or relief rainfall. When the moisture laden air is obstructed by a mountain barrier, the air is forced to rise up. As the air rises upwards, it cools and gets saturated. Further, cooling of this air results in orographic rainfall. Next, climatology. The scientific study of climate is called climatology. So my dear students, with these questions and fill in the blanks, we come to an end of this notes of this question and answer session. I hope these answers were helpful and informative for you all. If you found the video helpful and informative and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to this copy class and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.